Alrighty guys, what's going on? So I'm back with another strain review. This is going to be the Strawberry Cough strain review. So you guys see in the title where I get it, what the grade is, and what strain it is, as well as if it's a sativa or a, an indica or a hybrid of one or the other. So let's get into this. So this is not my very first joint of this weed that I got. I got this yesterday afternoon around 3-ish, I think. So... Actually, before I get into this, smell on this is, has a very pine kind of scent. That's really all that I'm getting out of this. Now, again, it could be more. I just don't smell. I really don't know. But uh, let's get this lit up. That initial smell you get when you start to spark it does have a bit of an aromatic kind of fruity very light fruity but fruity kind of smell to it i don't really know exactly how to describe this one i really i, I am getting hints of that pine smell from the the flower itself obviously um It is raining all day, pretty much. So I kind of want to get this out of the way <coughs> before I continue on with everything that I have to do today. Um, yeah, it's been about a week and a half-ish. Other than yesterday, before yesterday, it's been over a week that I just haven't smoked. Sorry, I have to try to put my phone in. There we go. Let me put it on silent. Out of the way, so that way it's not distracting me. So, first things first, uh, really quickly, you guys may be wondering why I have stopped uploading for this last week or so. Um, I've just been going through some personal stuff, and my videos should be back to... I don't want to say a normal schedule, because I don't really have a schedule for my videos. I just try to push out at least one video per week sometimes i do multiple per week and i really don't know i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try to do a video on a, on a scheduled basis because honestly it would be better for you guys to know hey you know what i know this day and this day this guy does maybe it'll be not any particular type of video but he does a video versus you know what i do now it's kind of like a hit and miss um, looking at the joint so far, it's not resonating very much. It's got a little bit over here. Very, very light resonation, which I'm not too happy about. I'm kind of disappointed. This is graded at 4A. Um, I mean, 100, 135 bucks for an ounce for a 4A is really, really cheap. Um, to give you guys an idea, normally 100 Excuse me, 100 to 120 gives you about a double A. So what the OG, sorry, the silver Kush was, I believe, was a double A, uh, or the OG Kush, one of those two, maybe both of them was, I don't remember. Um, this being a quad, I'm really not going to complain too much because I'm really getting a, in my opinion, I think I'm getting a, do, a good deal. Now I know I said I was going to do the review on the Blue Dream. They either sold out or just haven't had it they have it on the website and they just don't have it in stock so it doesn't show under their flower selection i was told over a week ago oh we're gonna have it in i think two days or, in, or tomorrow or something like that and when i went to go check it out it wasn't on the website so either it sold out within a couple hours or i really don't know but um getting back to the weed it does have a really nice smell to it one thing i don't i don't know if i really talk about i gotta do an outline when i do these reviews because sometimes I forget if I talk about these things in other reviews. Um, it, I'm, I'm definitely getting that hint of... It's not really a hint. It's quite a pine scent. Or not scent. A pine taste. Um, I'm really happy with that. I actually think it tastes really, really nice. It kind of... If you guys have ever smelled pine. Like, like a nice pine tree... It, it kind of tastes like that. I know it sounds kind of weird to say that, but that's kind of how it tastes. Um, the way this will hit me, it 
will probably hit me a little bit more than it would you if you've been smoking regularly. Mainly because I haven't smoked in about a week. So again, don't look at how high I'm going to be in like 10 minutes and be like, wow, that's that's a very intense high. I, that could just, maybe it is that's how it hits me and it has nothing to do with the fact that I haven't smoked in a while. Um, clean off this table. But nonetheless, um, yeah. Now, another thing that I want to talk about really quickly I don't know if I'm, I, I want to try to do my videos in here. It's getting colder and colder. Today's not so bad. Today, I think it is currently, actually, let me check. I think it's 17 today. Or it's going to go high of 17 or something like that. So it's currently 15. Okay. The, <clears throat> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me guys, I apologize, I have to cough that one out. So the ash is pretty light. Now, I was trying to say, the smoke, it's making me cough, but again, I'm going to hold that towards, I haven't smoked in some time, so again, that's probably hitting me, like I said, it'll hit me a little bit harder than it normally would. It is starting to resonate a lot more, which that's a good sign, I guess. I really don't know. But, I mean, any resonation is good, right? I'm yet to smoke weed that doesn't resonate at all. I've smoked some weed. I, I, I'm not really going towards specific strains because I don't remember which they are. I've smoked weed that doesn't really resonate too much. Um, and honestly, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like when weed resonates more, it just gets you high. As fuck. Um, this is just maybe not one of those strains, or maybe it's the way that I rolled it. I really don't know. Yesterday, I rolled it with an Elements Rice Paper. This is Raw Black King. Smoke is kind of... It, it's making me cough a lot, but like I said, I'm, I'm holding that towards that I haven't smoked in a while. Um... The way that it makes me feel is really nice. It, it makes me really giggly. Um, oh, I hope it doesn't just start raining in here. Because I'm going to have to wait for it to stop raining a bit so I can bring my tablet back inside. <laughs> um, it doesn't make me feel energetic per se, but... I mean, I, I don't really know. When I hear people talk about weed making them, you know, feel energetic, I really don't understand where the fuck that comes from. It could just be that weed just never is going to affect me like that, and it's just a me thing. But, otherwise. Very full flavor. I'm, I'm getting, again, like I said, hints of fruity kind of terps. I really don't know exactly what kind of fruit. It's kind of like a mixture, if you will. Um, I don't really want to see a fruit punch kind of mixture, if you know, to give you guys like a bit of an, an example or an idea. But it's not one specific fruit. It's it, You would think it would taste like strawberries, but I'm not really getting a huge burst of strawberry. Um... I do believe it said it's going to taste like Girl Scout cookies, which I am getting that fruitiness that I'm getting from the, oh, the, what is it? The purple base cookies has a similar taste to this, and that's, I, th I think it's the, the Girl Scout cookies, but another story that I'm thinking of trying out is Lemon Sour Diesel. I, 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 I was going to get that, and then I seen this. The strawberry cough. I've been wanting to try that for months, and I looked, uh, and I didn't uh, get onto it at all. Like I, I, I missed out on it several months back when it was on sale, and now that it's on sale again, I said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna go scoop up an ounce." Plus, I'm also looking at getting that blue dream as soon as that comes back into stock, because I mean, unless it's gonna be really expensive, then I'll just get like an eighth or maybe a quarter gram, uh, quarter ounce, but. Really, really nice. It's smooth. It's it's. I, I really don't know 
how to explain it. It's just a really smooth. It's a balanced flavor. It's not a very intense flavor, so to say. Like in the sense of some weed you taste a lot. Like that's that that silver kush, I tasted a lot of the flavor. It was a very bold, pronounced flavor. This one's not this one's a little bit more dialed down, toned down, whatever you want to say. Um I do notice I'm not feeling as much of a head high or body high. Um the intoxicating effect as of right now, in terms of out of ten, I would say it's about a five. It's <clears throat> I do notice a little bit of being th that feeling of being spaced out a little, which is normally how I feel when I smoke a sativa for the most part. Um, my eyes are a little bit low, but again, I'm not feeling like I, I I'm really not feeling anything to where I can't continue doing something. I know I always say this. If I was mowing the lawn, I wanted to take a break to smoke a joint, and, I, and would I be able to go back to continuing mowing the lawn? Yeah, definitely. This is absolutely no doubt. I don't know if I were to smoke a full king size joint, because this I I packed maybe about two thirds of it, and I just I, I was too lazy to grind up another little bit of weed. But do I got another lighter in here, man? This is kind of annoying me. Just a wee little bit, it's annoying me. The smell that I'm getting in my garage is a really, really nice scent. It's not... It, it, it does have that weed smell, obviously. Any weed is going to have a weed smell. But... It doesn't have a super, I don't remember which one of these is a good one. I think it's this one. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily, I don't know, like in my room, if I leave that, that jar open, it just fucking swarms my room with the smell of weed, which I'm not a fan of, which is why I don't smoke inside. If you guys don't know, I don't smoke inside um, really at all. I just don't like the smell of smoke, whether it be weed smoke, cigarette smoke, any kind of smoke, cigar smoke especially, because I find that smoke, I find cigar smoke, I've smoked a cigar in my room before, and it just, it's, it's a very thick smoke, I'm not a really big fan of that, personally, I would rather my room not smell like anything of smoke, of any type, so, I mean, the exception being a candle, um, talking about candles, by the way, if you guys ever want to try to, like, minimize the amount of smoke in your room, lighting a candle will not only mask the scent, if it's a scented candle, um, it usually, I find at least with mines, I go to, uh, White Barn. It's, I think, $22 for one candle, but trust me, guys, I know you guys are saying, oh, that's kind of, that's, that's, White Barn's for women, man, yada, 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 I don't give a fuck. I like to smell some of their candles. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But, not only will it <clears throat> cover the smell, it will also control the smoke as much as it can. And, and you know, it's just a candle at the end of the day. Airing your room out, or better yet, opening your window and putting a fan on isolate, or oscillate, whatever, <coughs> um, I find does help. Um, not just when you're smoking, but also just that weed smell of when you have your weed out in the open. I really don't like my, my house smelling like weed, especially when you got company over. Not everybody wants to smell weed constantly, you know what I'm saying? I'm one of those people. I... In, in fact, I do find sometimes if it's a lot of the smell, although I do like the smell of weed, I don't like to smell it a lot. Like, I, I don't know how else to explain it. Like, I've, I've gone to dispensaries before where it smells like weed. I'm not really a big fan of that. I personally, I don't mind it necessarily. It's not going to, oh, for fuck's sake. Sorry, guys, a light window. Um, I, I, I do find that. Once it's, it's it's to a certain amount of that smell, I just start to feel a little bit sick. I'm not a big fan. Like I said, I even it doesn't have to be with weed. It can be even a candle. It can be a fragrance. Maybe I'm sensitive to, to smells and stuff, but I don't really like a super, super duper pungent smell of anything. It, it could be anything from food to candles to anything, you know, weed. So... definitely starting to feel a little bit more of like a heavy not heavy but a more of a head high um 
One thing that I do notice sometimes when I smoke is I do get a little bit of slurred speech. I have a lisp naturally, so I notice if I know I've smoked a lot when my lisp is more pronounced. And that being said, it's a it's that's my lisp. I'm sorry. So I don't know um, if you guys are hearing lisp. I'm really not. So that's good. If I had to rate this out of 10 as a strain so far, I'd give this a 7. Easily a 7. Um, I would have liked there to be a little bit more of a pungent taste. Uh, more taste, or rather. Not really, I don't know, pungent if that's the right word, but. It doesn't really leave a strong aftertaste. Like, it's a very. I want to say if I really had to explain that, that mix of fruity flavor, it would have to be similar to like a bubblegum, kind of, sort of. But kind of like that, if, if, imagine like chewing like a strawberry bubblegum um, or strawberry gum, really. It doesn't have to be bubblegum. Um, that, that light taste you get, that's exactly how it tastes. It's not a very bold amount of flavor, like I said in the beginning, so. Don't be expecting that from every person you get your strawberry cough from. But, um... That, I definitely tasted a little bit more. I, I guess it also really has to do with the amount of smoke. Usually, it doesn't really matter too much on how much smoke I inhale, but... Um, I really don't know what to talk about, honestly, man. I, I'm trying to focus strictly on just the strain, this weed, this joint. If I had to give this joint out of 10, I would probably give it about a 7 as well. I really didn't roll this perfectly. I've rolled some really nice 10 joints. Like, it's not every day that I'll do that. But, like I say, I really don't care if somebody takes forever to roll a joint. As long as the joint turns out good at the end of it. Because, I mean, if you're spending 20 minutes throwing the joint and it fucking turns out like shit, then, you know, <laughs> kind of sucks, right? You just spent, like, like, fucking five minutes just, and, you know, and then it turns out like garbage. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's your fault, man. I forgot this was even in here. I completely forgot that I had these lighters in here. <clears throat> now that it's starting to get a little bit more windy, you better bet your ass I'm going to be keeping this with me. I Last winter, I kept this one with me, and this is a little bit of a bigger lighter to keep in your pocket and shit. And um, this isn't, so. A couple of you guys are asking on Instagram, by the way, why I don't review these lighters, the Clipper or this. This one I haven't reviewed because I really don't know if Eagle Torch is a good brand. Um, that's the brand on this lighter, by the way. I paid this seven bucks. This is, I wouldn't say seven bucks is that expensive, to be honest with you. I mean, considering how much fuel it holds, it is not very reliable. After about well, four or five months of use, it just doesn't, you guys can see, it doesn't light up. Okay, it's, obviously it's going to work perfectly on camera. But, <laughs> it doesn't normally, it, you know, it's not something I would really say is reliable, but it's, it's good when it works. So that's why I usually keep it. And that's why I never threw it out and why I still have it even though I got this guy. This one, on the other hand, I'm going to have to go and bring this back. See if I can get it sent out to Clipper and then get them to either replace or fix it or whatever the fuck is wrong with this. It has fuel in it. I don't know if you guys will be able to see. Um, it does have fuel in it. But I mean, it's not... You guys really won't see it. It, it still doesn't light. I've pur tried purging all the air out of it. I thought maybe there was still too much air to fuel ratio or whatever. And for whatever reason, that just wouldn't allow it to light. I really don't know much about stuff like this. Oh, damn, that's a loud later. I know I see that a lot. That was a lot of smoke. It's starting to taste a little bit more of like that ashy taste, that harshy kind of ech. Um, <laughs> that ech. That you, it sounds like a fucking cat puking. What does that say? No. Um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna try to have a review on this. I'm just I, I, I can't say that buying it off of Amazon you're always gonna get one that doesn't work, but considering how I've seen that it's very common for some of these to come not working right out the packaging. It sparks, it just does not ignite in the sense of like you don't like this ignites. You see? Free you can kinda of see. There you go. That is, it sparks and ignites. This is, it might spark and shoot a flame, but it really doesn't ignite. <clears throat> right now, this is absolutely unreliable. I, I never take that lighting with me. It's always this one or this one if I need a torch. So that being said, you know, this one, sorry guys, this one I like because it's, um, it's a lot smaller. And if let's say you want to like angle this one, you can. No, no issue. This is better for more of like a dab rig. This is good if you're like trying to smoke a bong and trying to like toast it and shit. Especially after like three seconds, it gives that huge boost in the amount of like pressure. I'm not sure if they're all doing that. Like if all these Clipper jet lighters do that, because I know this one doesn't do that. This one, when it lights, that's as hot as it gets unless you, you fiddle around with the little slider here to adjust the flame size you know this one it's full i don't know if you guys will see this but it's about half full on this side yeah you guys can kind of see it's not not it's a little bit less than half but the whole point okay why is this lighter dropping <laughs> um i don't know when it comes to lighters i'm not too picky i i really don't like buying disposable lighters that you can't refill <clears throat> mainly because that's just a waste of your money in my opinion for an extra 50 to 75 cents even a dollar even like i mean are you really going to complain about an extra dollar when it's something that's going to be way more reliable considering yeah usually with bic lighters like that's what this one is this one is a bic mini it's about halfway filled. You guys won't see it because, unless I'm just seeing shit. Maybe I'm seeing shit. I'm probably seeing shit. But oh no, this is actually half filled. Yeah, I can see that now. So this guy here, how many times have you ever? Unless it's like really windy, have you ever had your bake not light? It doesn't have to light every single time, ten of ten. But I mean, because you're not expecting that from a really, really, really shit cheap lighter. But, on the odd chance that, let's say you are, Bix, the only thing I don't like about them is the fact they're not refillable. So, <clears throat> if they were refillable and they were cheaper, I would probably go with Bic um, over Clipper. Because I'm not saying these are expensive. I think these are like $1.75, you know, one. one. And, it really comes down to the person. You know, like most smokers, I have lighters that fucking just everywhere in my house um so that way i'm never lost without one in my truck i don't smoke my mom does so there's a lighter in there um most of us i believe have that or maybe not newer cars i don't think newer cars have this anymore that that your your their lighter thing um you push down it's or it's a cigarette lighter cigar lighter i don't know but definitely it's definitely drying my lips out, which I mentioned that about the silver cushion thing it was. It really dries my lips out. This one, not as bad, but I'm noticing it still. And I mean, that's kind of annoying because that's, that's a pretty big giveaway as to the fact that you smoked weed. So if you're trying to hide it from somebody, I mean, having the, to need to bring like a, like a Blustex or... You know, any kind of lip balm, Burt's Bees is my personal favorite, just saying. Um, <laughs> not a paid endorsement, but just saying. Um, oh, they're fucking expensive. 15 bucks for, I think, two tubes is fucking expensive as shit, man. You guys are getting away with fucking murder. But, I mean, I'm going to continue getting my fucking, my, my Burt's Bees, man. <laughs> but, you guys can see, it's definitely making, it's definitely a mood lifter, which I love. That's what I want out of a weed. I said a weed, yeah. You know, sometimes there's two or three weeds that I smoke. That, I'm just joking. I'm not able to do that. So I'm not stupid.
but really relaxed. Not so much of a body or a head high, but I'm definitely feeling a high, if that makes sense. Um, and when I say that, I mean, like, you know what I'm talking about, like, like, like a body high is like, you just feel kind of locked to where you are, not really, not, not that you can't move, but you're not fucking paralyzed, but I mean, <laughs> you know, you don't feel as energetic to want to move, um, and then the head high is just kind of, you feel a little bit spacey, I'm definitely feeling a bit spacey, um, I don't really know that I would, that would really, you know, prohibit me from really doing stuff around the house or whatever, you know, talking about, like, light chores and shit, just cleaning up a bit. Uh, I mean, washing dishes, I mean, do you, how the fuck do you not really get how to do that? But, I don't know. If, let's say, you have to follow somewhat, I don't want to say co complex, but something that's not just, like, I guess complex. That's something that's not just, like, uh, like basic instructions, like boil water. It's like, like just basic making pasta, boil water. Add the pasta and stir it occasionally for however many minutes it says in the box. Usually I put it for about 10 to 15 minutes. So, you know, in the sauce, you gotta keep it. I usually keep it around two or three. This is starting to turn into a fucking <laughs> pasta recipe. But, um, also, by the way, if you guys don't already follow me, down below is the link to my Instagram, um, the Toronto Stoner. You guys are probably wondering, because by the time you guys are watching this, I've probably forgotten to change the name. Uh, like I just remembered, I forgot to change the name for the YouTube channel. Um, I've changed the name to the Toronto Stoner. I'm, pr I'm, I'm kind of experimenting right now with the name, because I'm not 100% with that one right now, which is why I haven't changed it. I'm going to use that as my excuse. <clears throat> but... That was really nice. Um, yeah, I guess if you guys want to enhance this experience, I think I'm trying to think of what could make it better. That's not the weed. I would probably say having like a like a milkshake or something like a, like a nice strawberry or vanilla milkshake. I'm not really crazy about chocolate. I used to, but now I don't. So strawberry right now has to be like my favorite fucking shake. Like a nice McDonald's shake, you know, for one, for the one time that the machines are actually working. Like the one time. I think in my 23 years of life, I've only gotten five shakes, so. <laughs> you know. Definitely feeling my eyes start to get a little bit more heavy. I actually didn't think. <coughs> that I was gonna smoke it like that. Damn, that was quite a bit of smoke. I mean, look, you guys can see we have probably more crutch than we do weed. I probably got another puff out of this, and then I'm done. And I'm still tasting that that fruitiness, that pine smell and taste and everything. And, and the smell, I mean, like the smell in the room. Um, that's something that really, when I smoke, I don't really notice that I pay attention to the smell of the room. I don't know many people that do, but I mean, I don't know. Some people I'm sure do. I don't know. Anyways, I'm not going to light this up another time. This has been a 30 minute video so far. I cannot fucking believe I just, I, a one and a quarter size joint is a fucking 29 minute video. Anyways guys, deuces.